Hi guys, welcome to Brains and the Beat. If you're new here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're oldie but goodie, thank you for staying tuned to your girl. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the King Alarm security guard that actually shot a 16 year old recently. And quite frankly, I didn't want to rush and do this video because I feel like I was going to be very biased on the situation and I wanted all the facts to come out. I wanted all the footage to be leaked. I wanted every information possible to come out before I actually did this video. And quite frankly, I am actually very disgusted. But let's get into this story. A lot of people not gonna like us because we tell the truth, but it is what it is. I will step on enough people can and it's just what it is somebody got to do it let's get into the story <clears throat> security company king alarm is defending the actions of two of their employees who implicated in a shooting death of a 16 year old boy on wednesday night dead is tayshawn marshall of kingston of a kingston address in a statement king alarm says it believes the actions of their employees were justified a video of the shooting is being circulated on social media. In the three, in it, three males were seen walking along the roadway when it appears they signal a king alarm vehicle to stop. After what seemed to be a brief conversation, one of the male can be observed running away. Another male appears to lift his shirt before falling to the ground. The person has since been identified as Tashawn. The men aboard the vehicle then alighted and appeared to fire at the male who was fleeing the scene. The company says the armed response team was responding to an intrusion alarm at a premises on Bedford Road shortly before midnight on Wednesday. King Alarm says a shooting occurred for one of the individuals lifted his shirt as if to show he had no weapon. The company says the individual simultaneously reached for what appeared to be a firearm concealed in his waistband. In the video seen by our news center, it's unclear if the now deceased Tashawn reached for a weapon. In a statement, King Alarm says it's aware that the individual reaching for his weapon may not be easy, easily visible. An imitation firearm was allegedly seized following the shooting. King Alarm says it would have been impossible for security personnel to have known the weapon was an imitation. Meanwhile, the police says when they arrived on the scene, an imitation firearm and a teenager were placed in their custody. Tashawn was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. The company says based on preliminary analysis, the actions of the security personnel were justified. According to King Alarm, their employees, like every Jamaican, have the right to defend themselves using force when the, their lives have been threatened. It says the company also has a strict use of force policy, stipulating minimal force to be used in every situation. The security company says its personnel involved in the shooting that have been taken off frontline duty while the incident is being investigated. Meanwhile, King Alarm says it's also investigating the circumstances under which another of the company's security personnel on the scene discharged his firearm in the direction of what appeared to have been a fleeing suspect. In the meantime, head of St. Andrew Central Police Division, Senior Superintendent Jacqueline Combs, said the police are aware of the shooting incident. SSP Combs says the police inv investigation is in its embryonic phase. So that means that them just start. Honestly, I'm going to give you guys the cold hard truth. And I didn't need any video to see this, to say this and know this. Real bad man, real thugs, whether I'm a 14, 15, 13 year old of Jamaica. Now wait for no King Alarm security personnel for wind down no window to talk to them. If they have a gun, they're going to shoot and ask questions later, especially if I rob them or try to rob them or something. 
this boy literally lifted his shirt to show that he didn't have a weapon and they murdered him it's funny to me that no mainstream media has this story and i had to dig and search for this so obviously somebody is trying to hide something and if i was tayshawn's mother king alarm would be tied up in court for years and i know money is not going to heal the wound of losing your son but making them pay will be justice for me if i was tayshawn's mom they killed that boy in cold blood and any everybody with an eye can see Real bad man now, if you roll them now, wind and shoot them. Real bad man now, lift up them clothes, show, show you, say, they don't have a gun. Them just all shoot up the car. And that's that. If they were trying to rob you guys, or if you feel like your life was in danger. And if your life was in so much danger, why did the other person come out of his vehicle and try to shoot at the two other teenagers that was running from the scene their life wasn't in any danger they murdered that boy in cold blood they literally murdered him and honestly i did a video recently because they were saying that a lot of these security companies are not paying them or paying these security guards enough they're not getting time and a half they're not getting paid leave and I feel like they're supposed to get what they deserve. They they're get they're basically very closely associated to police and people don't like to fool with them. So they need to be paid. But now seeing this, I'm like on a lot of police. So why do you feel the need to just shoot people and kill someone's child? Like really? And then he's talking about there is a, a minimal force policy. Do you think minimal force was used in this situation? Because quite frankly, I don't. And I've I'm more seen a different video than what he is seeing. And remember, this is not the first time King Alarm has done something very, very similar to this. Do you guys want me to refresh your memory? Do you remember the video with Mr. Vegas and the King Alarm members trying to hold that licensed firearm holder down and take his gun? Do you guys remember about that? Do you remember what happened to those King Alarm security officers? After that video surfaced because that man hired a top shot lawyer and was not playing around those security guards actually got fired and charged criminally charged and in Tashawn's case it should be no different you can't just take people put in your life and think that it's okay that your walk was scotch free it's not okay at all and why do security guards even have guns? Because a lot of these King Alarm security guards are ex-JCF officers, ex-JDF officers. And when I say ex, they were kicked out of the JDF and kicked out of the JCF because of different reasons. So the JCF, which is not that good, never want them. The JDF where sit up a pocket all the time and don't never want them. So them go to the next best thing, King Alarm. And a lot of these ex JCF and JDF officers think that they can get away with things like this. And it's probably stuff like this that they did in the JCF and JDF that got them kicked out in the first place. I literally just do a video saying that they need to pay these um, security guards their money because a lot of Jamaicans equivalent them to police and it's not nice because you know Jamaican people are fooled with police but now I feel like taking back that video 
because they just murdered somebody's child and they're trying to cover it up honestly i had to dig for this story and i feel like they're going to get away with this and somebody have to be a whistleblower somebody have to say something somebody have to do something okay they can't just let somebody's son's life be scuffed out for that he could have been the next andrew wholeness he could have been a doctor a lawyer he could have been so many things and you took that away from him so somebody needs to pay if your guy's policy is minimal force that was not minimal force if you felt like your life was in danger why didn't you wind up your window back and drive off i'm too big for that i'm too trigger happy for that condolence goes out to tashan's family and friends and condolence goes out to the two boys that was with him i can only imagine the psychological trauma that this situation is going to have on them and i hope they actually get help and i hope that their family is in full support of them because they could have also lost their life if tashan's mom want to take king alarm to court she has two expert witness and i feel like she would win um and that would would be exactly what i do if i was her get somebody to get that case pro bono meaning you don't have to pay them until you actually win some money in court and take king alarm to court for every penny that they are worth money now go solve everything and money now go bring back your son but make them pay and make them know that this is not okay they must have amnesia and think that we forget what they did on video with that man that man have big top shot lawyer they paid him off he went silent nothing didn't come out of that case the personnel the security personnel that was supposed to get fired get fired and king alarm pay him off anyways me hope she don't take no hush money from them either and actually take them to court for every penny they're worth comment what your thoughts are in the comment section below what are your thoughts on all the video you have been seen circulating on social media with this whole situation do you think that he was murdered in cold blood do you think that the security officers or security guards actually did what was needed and what was necessary do you think that they use minimal force like their company states in their rule book um do you think that they need to be better trained on diffusion of situations like this comment what your thoughts are in the comment section below don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl and i'll see you in the next one Doses.